Developing at 10, two people in custody tonight following a police chase of two different trucks from South Kansas City into the Belton Raymore area this afternoon. Let's go out to our Grant Stevens in the newsroom. He was there where the chase ended. Grant, I know police tried to end this much earlier. Yeah, Kevin, they definitely did, but this driver was determined. He'd already run over police stop sticks, which shredded all four of his tires and three more of the tires on the trailer he was pulling. I spoke with multiple witnesses there who say it was quite the sight, and one of them captured the moment it came to an end on this video. I saw this guy in the truck driving back over there with no wheels, no, no tires, no nothing. I figured he might as well just go ahead and stop. They, where's he going at 10 miles an hour? By that time, you've seen cops coming from every direction, you know, going over the curb to corner of me, and he got a bundle of block and a half, and they had him. He's down for the count by that point. He finally stopped and he did his hands up in the air and the police were at gunpoint with him. It ended with the driver in cuffs. Well, he was kind of looking over here at the side and I kept thinking, what is this guy doing? This isn't even the only red truck involved in the same chase today. Up the street near 155th and I-49, a woman was arrested after she led police on a chase of her own before spinning out in a front yard. Police haven't released details about what started these chases or how and if the two knew each other. You must have done something bad or they wouldn't have 15 cop cars chasing. The community's just happy it ended peacefully. So it was kind of crazy. It was a little showstopper today. Good job on their part in shutting them down. An important note here, no one was injured in either of these chases. Police also haven't released any details yet on what both drivers were running from. Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.